Hi all, this is Maria Clark from Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I have another really pretty fall design for you. I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw this fall plate that had these kind of embossed raised leaves on them and I thought it would make a perfect plate charger. It's actually a charger plate uh, to paint on. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So for my base, I'm using this 13 inch charger plate that I found at Hobby Lobby and um, it's in their fall, was in their fall section. And for the paints, I'll be using the DecoArt Gloss Enamels in primary yellow, bright orange, avocado, and I'll be accenting with the Dazzling Metallics Copper. I'll be using Serral Transfer Paper, and in this one, I'm going to actually make my own dotting tool. Now I needed, this, this particular design calls for a little bit larger dot. And I do have some acrylic rods that I'm gonna try out, but I decided to go ahead and make a tool. And I can't claim credit for this. I saw this somewhere, I don't even know where. But um, I just glued a dime onto a pencil end and I was able to use that. Now one caution, initially I used hot glue and that really um, didn't hold up great. Uh, so I went ahead and just glued it with a regular like E6000 so that I could really make sure that it was on there. And then I'll be using my regular set of dotting tools. There is a pattern available for this in my Etsy shop. Here's just a quick look at some of the designs. This one has uh, five different sizes and um, you'll be able to then use it on a variety of surfaces. Now I'm using it on a 13 inch charger plate, which has a center that's about eight and a half inches. So I'm using the eight inch uh, pattern from my, uh, from the pattern from the ebook. And this is one where you can actually just use the tool, use the pattern, print it out, and then put your tool on top of the dot so that you can select the tool from your tool set that matches up. Keep in mind you want to go a little bit smaller because the paint spreads. So I always kind of keep that in the back of my mind when I'm choosing the tool that I want to use. There's also a really fun bonus. Um, I'll be doing a speed painting. This will just be uh, me dotting. It's the exact same base pattern, but I'm going to be doing it in Christmas colors on a black charger plate that I also found at Hobby Lobby. And I think it's really fun to see how you can take the same pattern. And because these patterns are so versatile, you can change the color, you can add some additional elements and come up with a whole new um, piece. So I hope you really enjoy that. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay, here's my plate and I have cleaned it with alcohol. Um, I do think you wanna test the finishes on some of these. I had no problem with this one, but test the finish to make sure that um, it will uh, handle the alcohol. Sometimes you can check on the back of the piece to make sure that um, none of the finish is going to be disturbed by using the alcohol to clean it off. And then here's the eight inch pattern. And I will just simply cut that out. All of the patterns have the guidelines that you need. And I'm going to fold this in half. I could just kind of place it like this, but I, I want to, you know, I don't know, it's just a habit. So I want to fold it, find the center, and then try to get it placed on there. I'll use a little bit of tape to make sure that that's really well secured and that that pattern is not going to slip around. And then I will slide my serral transfer paper. This transfer paper, I think I've mentioned in videos, I've used the same piece for quite a few little um, projects. So eventually it'll run out of steam, but right now it's been holding up really well. And then I'll use a pencil or a stylus, um, something that I can use to just trace the outline. Now I'm not gonna trace every single dot, right? I'm going to trace the main circles. And then because I'm using a larger dot and I have some variations on the edge, you'll see that I have um, actually gone ahead and traced uh, those larger circles so I get a good sense of what I want to um, place there. And you can see that there's the larger circle with some of the design elements. So here I'm starting, I'm using my P16. Here I'm starting in the center and I'm using my P16 11.5 millimeter and the primary yellow and just placing my primary dot, my center dot and then using my G6, my G6 four millimeter, I will place dots around. I got a little disoriented here because I usually go north, south, east, west, but I've got 
um, these grid marks on so I'm able to just line up with the grid. And I've got eight. Now for the next row, I'm going to stay with the G6 four millimeter. And I'm actually going to place 16 dots around. So you can see I'm just, the, this is just the way I'm dotting it. I'm putting the dot in between the dots from the previous row first, and then I'll go back in and fill those in. And again, because I have my circle uh, grid mark there, it's easy for me to know where to place these. I really liked the color of this uh, charger plate. It's a metallic sort of brown. I think they had an orange and then they also had a brown. I chose the brown and these embossed leaves, I was a little bit worried about how I would be able to dot over them because they're raised, but actually it worked perfectly. Um, but this is something that if you do have, you find something that has a bit of a raised design to it, you may wanna consider how you uh, go about dotting on top of that. Now I'm using my I9 5.5 millimeter. And again, I'll be doing 16 dots. 16 dots with this larger tool. This is a really simple pattern. So this would be great if you're just starting out uh, dotting because it's a, it's, um, it's a nice uh, symmetrical pattern. Um, there's a little bit of variation as we move out, but um, this is one where you can, um, I think, easily adapt it. This would also look great on a canvas um, or a, you know, a, a wood piece or something like that. I think you would really enjoy how it looked, and even with different colors and different backgrounds. I mentioned I have this coming up in a Christmas version that you'll be able to look at. And that's a bonus design that's in the pattern that's for sale on my Etsy shop because I have a little, uh, some additional elements that I added um, to the Christmas version. And um, I just think this would be pretty in so many colors. When I was at um, Hobby Lobby, I saw the charger plates. These are in the um, party section, by the way, and they had so many great colors. Now I chose black because I, of the time of the year, but they had some really bright colors and this would be so pretty in a spring uh, pattern um, or even a winter pattern, I think it would really be nice. All right, so I've got those, down, those dots down. All right, now I'm moving out and I'm using my K 10.5, 6.5 millimeter to place another row of 16 and see how I'm just lining these up. Let me go out just a little bit and I'm moving up in size uh, of tool based on the pattern. And I'm using my P16 11.5 millimeter. And I will put 16 dots all the way around. Okay, before I move into the next series of dots, I'm going to go ahead and put my crown at the top of each one of these larger dots that I just placed. I'm using my G6 four millimeter for the large crown dots, and then I'll use my larger nail dotter to walk the dots around, and I'm using the bright orange. Notice that I did the uh, crown and the walk the dots around every other dot because I'm going to go in and place a, a, a now another row of the larger dots and I want to have enough space. All right, I'm going in with a uh, nail dotter and I'm just going to fill in a little bit of this space to continue uh, those rows uh, down to the center. Now I'm going to start filling in with a nail dotter and the bright orange. Now you could wait to do this step until, uh, like when you're doing your top dotting after you've let this dry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now, um, but depending on how you dot and what your preference is, you could wait until, um, until the paint, that first kind of section of paint dried. It's actually safer for that. I'm a little impatient, so I don't always do that, but sometimes I have to fix a mess that I make with my hand as it travels over some of that wet paint. So kind of keep that in mind. 
Now I'm just placing another um, larger bright orange to fill in some of that space. Now I'm using the pointy end of my i9 5.5 millimeter to get a little bit larger dot there. And uh, don't forget that if you're using this particular set of tools, now we all have our favorite uh, set of tools. Um, this is just what I default to. And, um, you know, it's relatively inexpensive and available. So I enjoy these. But don't forget to, if you have this set, that you can use the pointy end. And actually, they want the dots great. So if you need a little larger dots and you don't have another set of ball styluses that are larger, you can, um, you can use these and they really work great. Okay, I'm just continuing to fill in some of that space. Yep, oh, little boo-boo. Okay, another row of the bright orange to fill in. You could introduce another color here if you wanted. I will add a little bit of green. I'm not using a lot of green in this particular one, but I will use a little bit of green. Okay, now I am ready to do um, these larger dots. So here's a look at where we stand with the pattern so far. I'm going to do these larger ones. Now I do have, um, you know, a, like this is a Sharpie. I could use that. Actually, that might be a good size. I have a larger, I think this is a 15 millimeter uh, acrylic rod. Here's a paint bottle that might work. Um, I decided to go ahead and hot glue. I was going to try a penny and a, and a dime to get my larger sizes. So I was hot gluing these and I didn't end up using the penny. Um, so that was just, you know, extra work. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, I used the hot glue on this and it worked okay. I did lose the dime at one point and I had to re-hot glue it, but I found that it was actually um, better if I used a different type of glue to keep it a little bit more secure. So here's those dots going down. That one was a little too close. Um, so I'm going to take that off. And the other paint is pretty dry. Um, so I can try to get that off. Might take a little bit of practice um, for you to use these, you know, this larger tool. Some of you may have a set that has the larger rods, like the 15 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 18 millimeter. The dime is actually measures at 18 millimeters. And the acrylic rod that I had was 15. And actually, they're so close that you'll see that in the Christmas one, I just used the 15 millimeter acrylic rod. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the dime all the way around. Now in the pattern, it looks like uh, they're slightly, the, that top row is slightly larger. I just made sure I had a lot of paint and I, I made that dot a little bit larger by double dotting. Okay, I've got those all the way around. See how I kind of overlap the leaves a little bit and that... That worked fine. Now I'm going to go in and do my crown with my G6 four millimeter, get my crown, and then I will walk the dots around each of these larger dots that I put down. Hey, I would love it if you haven't subscribed, if you'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you enjoy these videos, give them a thumbs up. It helps, uh, helps them be seen by, by more people. And I do have a goal. I'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. So uh, anything you can do to help out by subscribing, if you haven't already subscribed, that would be wonderful. I appreciate all of you and I enjoy all of the comments that you leave. It's so fun to communicate um, with the audience and see what you're trying out and what you like and what you don't like. So thanks so much for doing that. Now on these larger dots, 
when I am uh, doing, you know, before I start to walk the dots, I'm actually using my nail daughter. This is my largest nail daughter, and I'm using it to place three of the same size before I start to walk the dots so I can make sure those that uh, when I walk the dots, it goes all the way around. Now I'm using um, a color called avocado and my G64 millimeter to place these large dots at the bottom. And then I will walk the dots up to kind of frame. This is creating like a, a floral effect uh, around this um, petal that I have. have to count. I always have to count to try to keep me, myself straight. Do any of you guys have to do that? I always lose track of what I've placed down. Now my large nail daughter and I will just follow the guidelines that I made to curve up around that petal. And here's another look at that sequence, and then we'll do it all the way around. Okay, we will do that all the way around, and here's how our piece is looking so far. So those are all of the main uh, elements. It's time now to um, set this aside and add and, and wait for it all to dry and then add my top dots. Okay, here it is with the top dots. Now I used the Dazzling Metallics Copper and just one layer of top dots. And isn't that pretty? I just so love the way this turned out. This would look great um, hanging on your wall or displayed on a table. I have some of those plate um, stands that this looks really nice with. So here's a little close up of it. Don't forget to check out the Christmas version. Here's a little look at the Christmas version so that you can see what that looks like. I hope you enjoyed this fall project and I hope you love the Christmas version as well. I want to thank you all for joining. Thanks again for subscribing, liking the video if you would enjoy it, uh, leaving me a comment. I so enjoy hearing from you. Thanks all for joining me in my studio today. Take care.